Good afternoon from Disney's Yacht Club Resort. Today is National Hot Dog Day. And if you remember back to last year, we were with her friend James from the Instagram account Hot Dogs at Disney. From the Instagram account from from the Instagram account Hot Dogs at Disney and we went around Magic Kingdom and we sampled all different kinds of hot dogs. Today, we're out here at the Yacht Club heading towards the boardwalk because we're going to sample some hot dogs around the boardwalk. Then we're going to head over to Hollywood Studios because there's kind of a big supply of hot dogs at Hollywood Studios. So I'm very excited. What are you excited for? Hot dogs? Hot dogs. Hot yeah, dogs. I think after a year I'm finally ready to eat hot dogs again. Okay. So I, I, you I, haven't I, eaten I, any I, since? I mean, I have. Oh, okay. Like I'm, ready, I'm ready to gorge again. Ready to gorge yeah. again. Have you had a corn dog since last year? I actually haven't. Ooh. That was my, if, I don't know if anyone remembers last year, it's the second corn dog of my life. And uh, so today I'm going for the third corn dog of my life. Okay. Yeah. I wish you would eat more hot do or more corn dogs. I feel like you're okay. missing out on a, on a big, big area of hot dogginess. I guess. I mean, it's a it's an entire food group. It's part. Right? Of the, it's part. It's, it has its own rung on the pyramid. Right. So. Well, speaking of which, we're not doing like, not all of these hot dogs that we're going to eat today are traditional hot dogs. There are a few little sausage in a wrap type thing, like a Ronto wrap over at Hollywood Studios. We're going to consider mm -hmm. that a hot dog today. Yeah. So, let's get started. We're headed over to the boardwalk. All right. So we are making our way across the lake. We're headed over to this little blue hut right here. That is where we're going to get our first hot dog. Also, another spot where the little Sprite boats were that they have since removed them. And I'm guessing they're never coming back. You ever done a Sprite boat? A little mouse boat? Never been on the water here. Oh man, Yeah. you got to get out on the water. It's a good time. Yeah. You can rent one of these, you can go fishing. You used to be able to rent Sprite boats, but not anymore. Or sure. mouse boats. I, I imagine it's them. catch and release. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. good. It's really good. All right, first stop, Disney's Boardwalk. All right, we've made it over to the Boardwalk just across from the Abracadabar. We're doing boardwalk to go. You can see there, corn dog, barbecue pork, hot sandwiches. We're gonna get a hot dog with some barbecue pork on it. Just wanted to give you guys a look. I know the, the beautiful noises in the background of the construction happening. Here, we're gonna get the corn dog and the barbecue pulled pork dog. They have a chili cheese dog as well, but we're gonna get that at a later location. So, we're just starting out with these two here. Also, they're doing a lot of construction over here at Trattoria El Forno, so if you come here, just be prepared for some noise. These are our first two dogs. This one is the barbecue pulled pork dog basket. And because I didn't actually want the full basket, but it was so loud with all the construction behind me, I was just like, I, I don't know what you're saying, but yes, I'll take that. And so we got French fries with it as well. And that ended up being $15.50. And then we also got the corn dog over here. And that was $5.50. So your second corn dog. Third. Third corn dog. Yeah. First barbecue pulled pork dog? I've never had such a dog. Oh, yeah. man. Maybe I'll have to start another count. I remember last year I started corn dogs at Disney. Oh. Maybe I'll have to start barbecue pork dogs. Barbecue pork dogs at Disney. It's getting out of control. Right? Yeah, I mean, there's only, I, I only have two hands, Tim. Oh, so, okay. Um, now we'll see. If this is a, a success, I'll consider it. Okay. Yeah. All right, no, you need more phones. I do need more phones. <laughs> okay, I haven't picked it up yet, but we did cut it in half. And you can see there's a the hot dog on the inside with the pulled pork on the outside and some barbecue sauce. This actually looks kind of tasty, but look at how little bit of bun there is down in the bottom of this basket. Man, that bun got demolished underneath all this weight of, of pork. You know, I will say my one critique of uh, Disney hot dogs is the bun. Oh like, yeah. Like the, you know, it's the foundation of the entire thing, but the uh, like structural integrity of the bun at every Disney place, doesn't matter if it's Casey's or whatever. I don't know if they're just using cheap buns, but they fall apart immediately. Like, I love a chili cheese dog at Casey's. I can't order it because it just turns to slop right away. Right? I will say this, though. When I did the two-foot hot dog at Casey's, which they've done a couple of times. They did it for Christmas one year, and they did it for Hot Dog Day another year. They put it in this gigantic hoagie roll, and it's, like, more bun than hot dog. So it's, it's excessive. Like, you can't eat it because it's so much bread. I don't know. That's I would say that there's a fine line between too much bread and not enough bread. We need bread. to get an imagineer on like the density ratio. Like, right. There's too thin and then there's too thick. There has to be a happy medium of bun. Call me up, Imagineering. I will do your your research and development for you. All right. James tells me that it was unpleasant because he picked his up. He said it was unpleasant to hold. So, with that being said, I'm going to hold it. Actually, I don't even know if you can. Yeah. Look at. All right. Here we go. First bite. Ooh. 
All right, first impression, it tastes delicious. Like that's a lot of good flavors. The pork felt a little bit uh, chewy, a little bit denser than I would hope for. Like maybe it didn't get cooked as long as I would have liked. You lose the taste of the hot dog altogether. You don't taste any hot dog. Bun is non-existent. So basically you're just eating barbecue pork at this point with some, with some green onions. Let's get your first impression first here. Bite. Yeah, same. Yeah? It's delicious. I love it. You get like half a second of hot dog and then it's just barbecue sauce. Yeah, barbecue sauce and, and pork. pork. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And I say this all the time. This needs pickles. If you've never had barbecue pulled pork with pickles, mm -hmm. missing out. It's delicious. Put some pickles on a hot dog. Or some relish, I guess. But it has to be... The, I don't I don't like that bread and butter stuff. You gotta have the like chips. a... Yeah, the yeah. bread and butter flavor I don't like. Oh, okay. You gotta have uh, kosher dills. That's where it's at. Alright. Next up, the corn dog. This should be fairly like straightforward. It's just a corn dog. It's kind of small. Like, hold your hand next to it. Yeah, it actually is pretty small. Yeah. All right, pretty typical. The inside of a corn dog. We're getting into the real meat and potatoes of stuff here. Just like corn dogs. The meat the, the inside. Corn? The meat and the corn <laughs> meal. All right, you're first because you haven't had right. a corn dog in years. This is, uh, yeah, recorded. In one year. Corn dog number three of my life. Exactly one year later, right? Yeah, 20th. You didn't get any dog on that bite. It was all just corn. You know what? The cornmeal is wonderful, though. So yeah. if, if it was National Cornmeal Day, uh, this would be an A+. Plus. Oh, National Cornmeal Day. That sounds nice. Is it a day? It should be. We'll have to look that up. What do you think? Is it blowing your mind? Are you a corn dog fan? We'll say the cornmeal is great. The actual dog itself is a little bland. It's actually kind of like those fries where oh. it could use a little bit of salt. You know, I will... <laughs> I've never said this about a hot dog before. It needs more nitrates. It, oh. It needs more processed. Like, it needs to be processed further. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they skipped a, a couple steps on the conveyor belt. <laughs> okay. But I, not bad. I think you need mustard on it. Probably. That's me. Do you hate mustard? Do not you? a mustard fan, so I'll let you do the mustard. Oh, man. Corn dogs and mustard are the best. I'll do ketchup. How about that? We'll see okay. What, I know it's a cardinal sin. We, we talked about that last year. Right. You know, I... Uh, you know, poo poo me if you want, uh, but I do like ketchup on my hot dogs. Poo poo. Poo poo. All right, let's give it a try. We're gonna do dueling bites of corn dog. Hmm. There was something very strange about that mustard. Almost tasted like ketchup. But this, yeah. Cornmeal is where it's at on this one. But it's not. This isn't a typical Disney corn dog. No. Neither, and the, the hot dog inside of the pulled pork hot dog was not a typical Disney hot dog either. So, a little bit different. A little bit of variety. Like, if you're, if you're getting bored with the hot dogginess of your vacation, come out here to the boardwalk. Get a little variety in your hot dogness. I feel like if you could do a mix between the batter of this corn dog and the batter of the corn dog at Sleepy Hollow, you have the perfect corn dog. This one's a little bit too sweet. This one almost tasted like a breakfast corn dog. You know how you get like a breakfast corn dog with like a pancake around a sausage? And it's a sweet corn dog? That's what this tasted like. Two Dogs Down. That's like my favorite band from the 70s was Two Dogs Down. Uh, we are, this is really like a mix between the 70s and the 90s. It's three two, Corn Dog two, Night. Two Dogs Down, Three Corn Dog Night, Two Doors Down, Three Dog Night, Two Dog Day. Uh, we are headed down to Beach Club now. No, Yacht Club. Yes. Headed down to Yacht Club, get the corn dog. Then you have a reservation for Beaches and Cream, which we're gonna go to because there is one hot dog on the menu and it's a kid's dog. Yeah. But we'll get like maybe a maybe a milkshake or something there too. Why not? Spice things up. That's what they say. Variety of life. So let's do it. We're walking over. We're walking over to there. We did recently get the announcement that the Boardwalk Bakery will be changing its name to the Boardwalk Deli and offering sandwiches and things like that, which sounds like it'll be very nice. And then of course, the old location of the ESPN Club has since been shut down and they are starting to demolish parts of it. We don't know what this will be yet, but talked with somebody the other day and they said that they were cutting down the sign with a chainsaw out here which I don't know if that was true or not but it sounds exciting all right we are right near the entrance to Epcot but we are not going into Epcot today we are headed over to the beach club we're headed over to the market we're gonna get a chili cheese dog I like days like this because we get such a variety of scenery and we get to see you know a few of the resorts and then we'll get to see a little bit of Hollywood Studios heading into the marketplace every day is Sunday I like that that's fun Beaches and Cream merch. 
Okay. Whose side did Hawkeye take in the airport battle in Captain America Civil War? What is the name of Tony Stark's assistant who he named CEO of Stark Industries in Iron Man 2? What is Thor's home planet called? Which character was exposed to a massive dose of gamma radiation and became a sometimes superhuman powerhouse? What is the name of Star-Lord's ship in Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. The Sweet Princess. What does S.H.I.E.L.D. stand for? Sometimes here I eat little donuts. Right? That's right. All right, I was honestly not expecting to get a hot dog wrapped in foil. A chili cheese dog wrapped in foil. This was eleven ninety nine, and I said, when they handed it to me, I said, is there chili cheese on it? They said, oh yeah. That, it seems interesting, right? Like it's, it's keeping the juices in there. There it is, the big reveal. Actually looks kind of good. It's got a substantial bun on it. Large beans in there. You can see onions, cheese. I mean, this looks better than a normal Disney chili cheese dog, for it sure. It presents really well. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks enticing. The reveal was uh, yeah. was nice. Yeah, you don't always get, especially being wrapped up like that. I expected it to be all, like, mangled and gnarled. And, right? Like, kind of soggy and misshapen, but no, it kept, uh, it looks good. All right, let's give it a try. We split it in half. You can see the inside of it. Looks like a normal hot dog. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a really good chili. That, I feel like, is the best chili cheese dog I've ever had on property. But that is a delicious chili. Super beany. Like, there's some peppers in there. Tomato base. It's got a lot of meat on it. Wow. Like, gr like ground, ground beef on it. This is really good. This is the best chili cheese dog I've ever had on property. Wow. Today is like a great day for hot dogs. It's a great day for hot dogs. Right? Let's see what you think. Well, I'm impressed already, like, just looking at the cross section here. Like, right? looking at the bun, you know, I've talked before about how the Casey's corner, like, as much as I love Casey's, the bun is kind of, it falls apart really easy, gets kind of gummy. But look, I like, this has been wrapped up, it's been sitting around for a few minutes, and it's like, it's still nice and solid. Still, yeah, it's not yeah. overpowered with chili either. It looks either. like an angel food cake, you know, kind oh, of yeah. like a little halo. Nice button. and spongy. <laughs> so, it's a magical corn or chili uh, cheese dog. Let's dig in. It's bright. Yeah. And you don't get that from like stuff that's probably just been sitting at that grill for, you know, since the morning. And it's still warm too. Yeah, it's warm. That's a happy hot dog. You don't hear the word fresh a lot with hot dogs. Right. You know, you wouldn't want to, generally. Right. You know, but um yeah, it's fresh, it's bright, it tastes gardeny or something like that the chili gardeny gardeny okay you know like fresh chopped veggies okay yeah because mm -hmm. the peppers and stuff peppers mm -hmm. and onions and things like that okay yeah it's the chili the chili sells it and the wiener itself is really really good okay perfectly salty it's uh, the density that's what i look for in a hot dog like is it you know is there enough to bite through it's not just the casing it's like the actual middle meat part okay like is that nice and dense and you know chewy so i had a bite of just the actual dog itself without any chili cheese, without any bun, it, it was good. It was not a traditional, like, Casey's footlong, which is interesting because this is a, a footlong hot dog at Disney, but it tasted different than any other footlong hot dog that I've had at Disney. It tasted much better. It wasn't as rounded on the end. It was kind of like that more natural casing on it. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards this being the best chili cheese dog at Walt Disney World. Yeah. I'll That's a bold statement, right? Uh, I would have said bold if I hadn't had the other half of this thing, but yeah, it's awesome. It's better. I, I'm sorry. It's better than Casey's hot dog. It really is. Yeah. It is. Which is, I mean, I've eaten a lot of Casey's hot yeah. dogs. I will say too, the, uh, so you had a bite of the sausage by itself. Yeah. Um, I had a bite of the bun by itself and it has like a fresh, you know, it doesn't feel like mass produced, like, you know, bread factory, uh, buns. It right. It's like. Like homemade. I don't think they're ma home making them, but they taste homemade. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Because we are close to Epcot. Yeah. There's like a, a test kitchen in Epcot. Yeah. So maybe there's like a place that they're baking buns for over here. You never know. All right, we've made our way over to uh, kind of near the Yacht Club. We're still Beach Club side because Beaches and Cream is kind of between the two. But we're here for Beaches and Cream. We're just waiting for our name to get called. But this is it, the all beef hot dog for kids. Choice of two sides. Just get some applesauce or something like that. But also, I'm gonna get this No Way Jose. Peanut butter and hot fudge delight featuring chocolate and vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and a cherry. Sounds amazing. But while we're waiting for our name to be called, James says, I've got some, some boardwalk trivia for you. 
Oh, it's always polite to bring some uh, something to do. It's like when you have uh, take kids to dinner. It's like you bring toys. So, okay. You know, I'm treating you like a big kid. Oh. And bringing you, you know, verbal toys. Okay. Uh, you know, facts and figures and what. Give it to me like like trivia. Trivia. Yeah. When do you think? So we're at the beach club right now. Okay. And it it and the yacht club share the same space. Right there. That's the the, the differentiation between the two. That's right. A, it is. You see how it's gray and blue. Wow. That is the actual like. It's like state lines. Yeah, we are right, right on the there. edge of the right, yacht club. You can club. be in both at the same time. Yeah. You, know. you like straddle it like you do the four corners. <laughs> exactly. So, Tim. Uh, Yacht Club and Beach Club opened within about two weeks of each other. Okay. What year do you think they opened? 1989. It was 90. 1990. Oh, okay. November 1990. All right. And it's a very strange month for a place called the Beach, the Club, Beach Club to open. Yeah, I think the, so. Sort of the reasoning behind this whole area is Michael Eisner was uh, concerned that Disney was losing uh, people to convention resorts all around the area like okay. Disney didn't have enough convention resorts on property that's why the Swan and Dolphin were originally built because they wanted to get more keep convention people you know on property get them to go to parks and all that kind of stuff okay but those are owned by a third party like Disney owns the land for the Swan and Dolphin but third parties own the actual buildings and all that stuff so for Disney to sort of capitalize on that that's why they built Yacht Beach and then eventually the boardwalk uh, so they could have their own convention spaces in the same area. Okay. But it's really the Swan and Dolphin that kind of made this whole area blossom up and turned it into like a thing. Gotcha. Yeah. So and we can see the dolphin from here. There it is. That's the actual dolphin. So the yacht, the beach, and the boardwalk were all created by the designed by the same architect. Uh, his name is Rod Robert A. M. Stern. Rod Robert A. M. Stern. That's yeah. got it right. All right. That's yeah. what I was gonna guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I I'm good. I know architects. One. Okay. I know them really well. <laughs> yeah. Name three other architects. Frank, Just Lloyd, Frank. and Wright. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool because the yacht, the beach, and the boardwalk all have the same aesthetic because they're all designed by the same guy, right? Right. And um, so it's not like a mishmash. Like I love all the stuff on the uh, monorail loop. You know, I like the Polynesian. Okay. I like the Grand Floridian. I like the Contemporary. They're all different because they were designed by different people at different times. All this stuff was created relatively within the same span of time, all by the same guy. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. I think that the Contemporary and the Polynesian were designed by the same guy. Frank or Lloyd? Both. Oh, okay. No, but so I think that the Polynesian was built the same way the Contemporary was. Got it. Where it was like modular. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the rooms that slotted yeah. in. Yeah. But they didn't do it the same way as the Contemporary. Contemporary like collapsed down on itself, so you can't take the rooms out. Right, I think right. they could still take the rooms out of the Polynesian if they wanted to. I don't think they're ever going to. You know, that would make me uh, make a good uh, movie, like a right? heist movie. Stealing Steal a Polynesian room. Steal a room from the Polynesian. I like it. Can it be done? That's my next challenge. National Treasure 3. I know they're working on it. Oh. Yeah. If anybody sees Nick Cage around. All right, we're headed in. Beaches and Cream. It's going to be a short little trip into Beaches and Cream. There we go. I feel like this place used to be a lot smaller than it is now. I haven't been in since the remodel. Yeah, I think it just used to be like a shotgun room over there. Now it's like a big restaurant, which makes sense because it's always been popular. They have a 50th celebration shake. Oh man, that looks kind of delicious, but that's not what I'm getting. I am going to get... What was it? The No Way Jose. That's where we're at. But like, look, you can get special like souvenir things too. I got scared because all the lights went out and like things turned and I remembered they do the kitchen sink. I thought that the power went out. I was like, oh no, we waited kind of a while to get this hot dog and then the power went out. That's not what happened. So we're good. I knew that the ice cream here was big, but like this is way bigger than I was thinking. I think they gave you all the ice cream at Beaches and Cream. That is ridiculous. Well, here we go. It really is quite the difference between this hot dog and this ice cream. Like this was a, a ridiculous idea. I shouldn't have done this. But the hot dog is there. We're gonna eat a hot dog. Well, maybe it speaks for itself. You know, it's like a minimalist kind of you know, experience. Maybe. Yeah. Like they know they overdo it on the ice cream, so they underplay the hot dog. Right? So I think that we're probably gonna just try this and then we'll review it outside. I think it's gonna be a very plain hot dog. I will go out on a limb here and say that this choice of ice cream may have ruined my day, but also saved the day. And I'll explain more outside.
There it goes. Okay, so the reason that that ice cream saved me, I was starting to get a headache from eating so many hot dogs, just eating all the, like, the sodium and the nitrates and everything. Starting to get a little headache. Ice cream cooled it down, kind of calmed the headache down. And so the ice cream helped me out. I wasn't able to finish the ice cream. I wish I had. I probably could have, but in my mind, I'm like, we've got like five more hot dogs to eat. So I didn't finish the ice cream. Professional athletes do that though. They finish ice cream? No. Oh. They got a Sunday in between rounds, whether, you know, wrestlers, tennis players. Can you see that at Wimbledon? There's a little ice cream cart no. on the sidelines. They eat ice cream? Yeah, it's not out yet. Like nobody knows about it. It's on the DL. Okay, so I would be like a professional athlete, is what you're you telling me. You are a professional athlete. Okay. But on top of that, you're yeah, you're going through. I mean, it's like Gatorade or something like that. Okay, yeah, I'm getting electrolytes from the ice cream. Yeah. So the ice cream's got electrolytes that my body craves. Okay. Something. Uh, so the hot dog in there, a fairly normal hot dog. The way you described it was you described it as a hot dog from a child's birthday party, that you're just like. You grab it off the like off the tray of hot you're dogs. You're so distracted by having fun at the party with yeah. the clowns and the horsey rides and all yeah, that. like bounce house. That you don't care that the hot dogs. Bad. By the way, you're also a child in this scenario, right? You're <laughs> yes. not like an adult at some random child no, birthday no, party. No, no, I'm I'm putting myself in the mind of a child. Okay. I've just grabbed a hot dog from like yeah. a platter of hot dogs. And there's a there's a, a water balloon fight happening, yeah, and you're just like, yeah. oh, I gotta eat this hot dog real quick. And you're like, it was fine. I don't even remember actually eating a hot dog. But if I was an adult at this child's party, uh, I would say it's a really careful. No, no, but uh, the chaperoning. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, it's yeah, my yeah. house. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh, one of these kids getting out of here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, and you I just had a hot dog. Law and order tonight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Sixty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Something like All that. All right. But yeah, it was it was a fine hot dog. Uh, it had the worst bun of the day so yeah. far. I would say. I that. would say that this was the worst hot dog of the day. Yeah. but it was still fine and part of me would be like i'll give it a pass because beaches and cream is an ice cream place right and it's like well you know i can't judge them on their hot dogs however the hot dog the chili dog that we got from the uh, beach club marketplace it, that's not a hot dog joint it was they, phenomenal they too. just they just happen to do hot dogs so right. i can't give them a pass on that okay i like it all right so now we are headed onto the skyliner to head over to hollywood studios for the grand finale heading into a park to get five more hot dogs, I think. There's a lot of hot dogs left. I feel like we we just started if we've got five left. We could have started the day right now and oh, just man. done the five hot dogs and Why I didn't would still we? be, I'd be wiped out. Man, all right, well, five more hot dogs. It's a big hot dog day. All right, James says he has Skyliner facts now. All right, it's trivia time again. I guess okay. we have a contestant of one. All right, so, I'm ready for it. You ready? Yeah. When did the Skyliner open? Ooh. That has to have been 2019? Yes. Yeah, and I'll give you either the first half of the year or last half of the year. Oh, it had to be the first half of the year. False. This well, last half? half? September 29th, 2019. Really? It took its maiden, maiden voyage. Maiden voyage. Okay, yeah, because Jen was pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Tim, question number two. Okay. Of Skyliner Trivia. The Skyliner Trivia Show. Okay. We'll call it. Uh, it's gonna last one episode, so it's very All right. probably. I like it. Yeah, very short lived game show. But, <laughs> Tim, how fast do you think we're going right now? Uh, let me just calculate the wind speed, check out the ground speed. Solid 15. We are going a little over 11 miles an hour. Okay. So close. That was close. close. Not, not, not I so almost close. said 12. Yeah. That would have been closer to correct. Would have been closer yeah. to correct. Still wrong, but closer to correct. No, no, I would have given you that. All right, we made it over to the Caribbean Beach Skyliner Station. Now we're hopping back on another Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios. We have made it into Hollywood Studios. Bo, what do you think? Where should we head to? What's that? Fairfax Fair? All right, let's do it. Into Hollywood Studios and heading down into Hollywood. Already placed our mobile order for Fairfax Fair. Now we're just waiting for it to be ready, and we've got three hot dogs on the way. Admittedly, I'm not really feeling this right now, but we're gonna do it. Shouldn't have had that ice cream, I feel like. I feel like that ice cream ruined my day. I'm glad we're ending with this rather than starting with this. Right? Because this would be, yeah, this would be like running up a mountain and then... I think so. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. What is on this? 
My goodness, I gotta read what everything is. It looks like cornflakes, but it's probably not cornflakes. It might be. Okay, so the first one here is the truffle bacon macaroni and cheese hot dog. All beef quarter pound hot dog topped with savory macaroni and cheese and crispy applewood smoked bacon, drizzled with mustard aioli, served on a brioche butter bun with pickled vegetables. It does not say what this dust is on top. Like, there was nothing in there that described what this dust was. Maybe they spilled something on it? Maybe. They're just Maybe. like, oh no, cornflakes! Yeah. Uh, they, nobody will notice. Uh, the California BLTA dog, all beef quarter pound hot dog, topped with lettuce, tomato, avocado, applewood bacon, crushed ranch tortilla chips. Is that this? Wait. So, no, these are like, those are Cool Ranch Doritos. Uh, House made black pepper mayonnaise on a brioche butter bun served with pickled vegetables. And then this one is the pretzel dog, all beef quarter pound hot dog topped with apple braised. A lot of apple going on in here. Sauerkraut and onions drizzled with mustard aioli on pretzel bread served with pickled vegetables. Man. All right, which one are we going to start with? I feel like we need more people next time. Like, right? We should be able to tag people in when we're not, you know, yeah. like a pinch hitter for certain hot dogs. Or at least I shouldn't have eaten ice cream. Or I shouldn't have eaten ice cream. That was my downfall. All right, maybe once I get a bite of this, I'll be like, I feel better. All right, so I'm not necessarily a fan of macaroni and cheese, but this is the one we're going to try first, is the truffle macaroni and cheese with bacon cross-section right there. That's a lot of macaroni and cheese. Very little bun. I don't know. Okay. I feel like I'm getting a second wind after getting a bite of that. Feels good. It's the electrolytes. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I would eat this all the time. I don't know if you would eat, keep eating it right now, presently. Okay. You try it. Okay. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Uh, looking at it, it looks good. Like I like the, that it's a bed of mac and cheese there. It's like very evenly spaced out. It, like it's not the toppings all aren't all haphazard and everything. Like it's really right. Pretty uh, yeah, like proportionate and all that. So I feel good about that. Uh, let's see how it tastes. It is hard to get in your mouth. It's one of my favorites of the day. Really? It might be number two after the chili dog. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's gonna sound gross, but it works because the mac and cheese is kind of congealed. Okay, so, so it's, it's not, not like slimy and like going making, everywhere. Yeah, it's not making the bun soggy. It's not squirting out all over the place like a like a cheese sauce. And the bacon's good, so it's a nice, tight, uniform, congealed hot dog, which doesn't sound good, but it tastes really, really good. Actually, I'm a big fan of this. I like the aftertaste of the truffle too. Mm -hmm. I think that's good for it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try one more bite. Like I said, I wouldn't order it again just based on the fact that I'm not a huge macaroni and cheese fan. But I can see somebody that really likes macaroni and cheese really enjoying this hot dog. So, alright, next hot dog. California BLTA. That sounds like a lot of stuff for a hot dog. This one I'm actually really interested in because it looks very fresh. But then they threw some mustard on there. Also, it's like sitting on top of the bun. It's not even in the bun. Let's give it a try. The avocado and the aioli overtake everything. You don't taste any hot dog, but it's still a good flavor. It kind of tastes like you're eating uh, coleslaw without the slaw. It's very juicy, and then the like instead of cabbage, there's avocado in there. I don't know. I'm very confused by it. I kind of like it, but not really. Uh, just visually, I don't like anything about this. I think it's uh, uh, even it's worse. A little peppery spice to it too. Even more so than the uh, uh, the barbecue pork dog that we tried earlier. This is, I would say, the least photogenic of all the dogs. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like that's just. I mean, you, yeah, don't don't still frame that. Oh no, I'm going to. Yeah, okay. I'm not doing. Jen will do it. Freeze frame. <laughs> Freeze frame. With a record scratch, saying, "I wonder how you're. You're wondering how I got here." I bet you're wondering how I got here. Um, you know, and just off the bat, without even trying it, it's the opposite of the mac and cheese dog, where it was perfectly uniform and everything. This is just a sloppy dog. Okay. And I, you know, there's some trepidation just about to go, you know. Oh whole, yeah, it's gonna whole, go everywhere. Whole hog into something you know is just gonna cause a mess. Whole dog. Whole dog. So let's. Uh, yeah, like I said, you gotta squish it down. The bacon and the pepper 
kind of is nice. I've never wanted, not wanted to eat a hot dog before. Do it. It's not bad. Okay. I'm going to start here and then get kind of clean this, tidy this up yeah. before I get into the, the main event. Okay. So clean up that little section there. You don't like it? Okay. I'll give you a pass. You don't have to eat the actual dog. No, I won't. It's for science. For right? science. It's better once you get used to it. Once you get used to it. You're right. The peppercorn sort yeah. of thing? Yeah. I'm all right with that. I'm of the impression that you should never eat something that you have to get used to. Did the dog make the difference? Way better. With the hot dog? Yeah. Usual hot dogs aren't overly peppery. Yeah. Or spicy or whatever. And that's what it needed. Needs the, the pepper. So you're not in the middle a, of the pack today. Still, still better than the baby dog from Beaches and Cream. Yeah, because it tastes like something. Like even if it didn't taste good, it le it tastes like something. Right. <laughs> yeah. So everything on this last one, this is the pretzel dog, is enjoyable to me. So look at how much bread there is on that one side, and then there's sauerkraut, and mustard, and a hot dog, and this is a pretzel dog. So this should be fairly good. I feel like it needs to be a bratwurst, so not a hot dog. Oh, pretty good. Like, it's like a hot dog with sauerkraut and and mustard. Like, you can't really go wrong with it. It is a little bit strange because I still have a pepper flavor in my mouth from the last hot dog. That's a good hot dog. I like that. Not my favorite of the day. Still that corn, or that chili cheese dog was my favorite of the day, but still good. Still good. So, I was instantly encouraged by the side of the pretzel roll, but unlike Tim, the rest of this um, does not appeal to me. I, I don't like pickles. I don't like mustard. I don't like sauerkraut. Uh, you know, I put them on my list of phobias along with snakes. So oh. at least it doesn't have snakes on it. Okay. So you know, they're, I don't know. I guess I have to face the fear. Huh? Oh yeah, get it in on like, it. It's gonna be like skydiving with snakes or something. Oh yeah. So. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> the like, look of disgust. That pretzel roll is awesome. And I agree with you. If this was a bratwurst, it would make more sense. Yeah. Because I think the meat would go better with the flavor of the yeah. sauerkraut and the mustard. I was missing a snap of the bratwurst. The dog itself is a little soft. Yeah. We were talking about density earlier with the chili dog at the uh, beach club. It's like, um, like it's, it just feels good to, to chew into it. Yeah, this one's a little, a little too much give. Like it's, okay. been, it's been boiled a few, a few too, minutes. Too many long. times. Yep. All right, so this one's a, a thumbs down for you. I will say this. As much as I don't like sauerkraut and mustard, I prefer it to the previous dog, the oh, BLT dog. Okay. Yeah. Because... There's no avocado in it. At least these flavors are clean. Okay. The previous one had that sauce on it, the peppercorn sauce, that just overpowered everything. It made everything kind of one note. Okay. So... I will give the I will give a reluctant thumbs up to, to the sauerkraut dog. Okay, reluctant thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Also, another like, one of my favorite '90s bands. Mm, there we go. When we first walked in here, I feel like I said we had like five hot dogs to do. I think we only have four to do here because I was originally anticipating getting the vegan hot dog from Fairfax Fair until I saw a picture of it. I didn't realize it's a salad. It's like a hot dog salad. That there are a few. There are plenty of things that I will consider a hot dog. Like, we're going to get a Ronto wrap. I'm going to consider that a hot dog. A hot dog salad? That's a salad. It's like a sausage salad. It's funny you say that. I have, uh, I got this recipe book off of eBay, like the Good Housekeeping Hot Dog Handbook. It's from the 50s, and it has things like hot dog salad, hot dog casserole. I used to have hot dog casserole a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, it's like, and but like hot dog chow mein. Um, what about, what about like a... Like a Jello hot dog mold. Hold, please. He literally <laughs> just pulled it out of his backpack. <laughs> so here we go. Good housekeeping's hamburger and hot dog book. Novel uses for America's favorite meats. Oh. So this is published. He's got in, bookmarks in there too. I know. I know. 1958. Okay. From, you know, as we're going down the rabbit hole of hot dog salad and other delicacies. How about Frankfurter spread your own? We could do a Frank and pineapple spread. Okay. Which, you want to know what's in it? It's three ingredients. Pineapples, hot dogs, and mayonnaise? Half a cup of minced franks. Okay. One three-ounce package of cream cheese. Cream cheese. And then two tablespoons of thawed frozen pineapple juice concentrate. Oh. You whip it all up in a bowl. God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> well, I mean, it does pair well with, it gives you pairings for it. Pretzels, potato chips, 
Melba Toast, Pumpernickel Bread Squares, or Crisp Crackers. Terrible. Yeah. Horrible. Horrible. All right, I think we're off to our last hot dog of the day. We're headed back to Galaxy's Edge for a Ronto wrap. Chip and Dale are out here. Just finished up with their picnic, so they're headed back to their oak tree. Maple tree? What kind of tree do they think they live in? I feel like oak tree. Maybe they live in one of these two maple trees. You never know. Still nothing going on with... Oh, we can see there's some some like construction equipment back there. Maybe some like wood. I don't know if you guys can see through the scrim here, but there's like stuff happening back there. Some construction vehicles maybe? Yeah, for Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. All right, here we are. We're headed into Batu. I'm going to send a mobile order up to space for a Ronto wrap. All right, there it is. Last hot dog of the day, the Ronto wrap. Probably going to be the highlight of the day because I love this sausage. It looks pretty good. I'm, we might spread the stuff out a little bit on there because it's kind of bunched to one side. But I love a Ronto wrap. All right, Ronto wrap. And I also challenge you to find better hot dog eating music than what we're listening to right now doesn't exist. Impossible. Wow, this is, oh, what a way to end the day. I was about to say perfection. Then I thought back on the day. So many hot dogs. So many delicious flavors. I think the Ronto wrap deserves to stand on its own and not be part of hot dog day. Not because it's not a hot dog, but because the flavor of the Ronto wrap is so different than anything we've had today, it changes the flavor of the Ronto wrap after eating all of those hot dogs. Not as excited for the Ronto wrap now, which is disappointing to me because I really like the Ronto wrap. So I think that I was about to say that this was my favorite hot dog of the day, but it wasn't. That chili cheese dog was amazing. Best hot dog of the day. Let's see. James, what do you feel? I haven't taken my bite yet. I will say this was the one I was most excited about today. I love Ronto wraps so much. And okay. I actually don't make it over to Hollywood Studios all that often. Um, you know, I'm usually at MK or Epcot. Um, so it's a treat. And this one's a bit nostalgic. This is the first hot dog I ever took a photo of uh, for hot dogs at Disney. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, back in the day. Trivia, when did Galaxy's Edge open? In Florida. In Florida, 2018. 2019. 2019, May, I knew that. May of 2019. Blazing hot. Three suns. Right. Yeah, bright suns. Ready? I'm ready. This is great. It's so good. Is it better than the, the chili cheese dog? Different. That's what I mean. The best hot dog today was a chili cheese dog. Okay. This is an aside. This is like an appetizer. It's like a pretty hot dog. Okay. Yeah. This would have been better to have first. This would have set us up for the rest of the day. Okay. Laid a nice base, a little treat. Get the, uh, like, not overly powerful flavors, because you got the pork there that kind of cuts it and neutralizes it a little bit. But, um, yeah, just lays a good base, puts a good happy, you know, happy feeling. In, in your tum-tum? In, -tum? in, in, in the tum-tum on your face. Okay. It's nice to get some Star Wars and the atmosphere, like you said, the music. Maybe there's better hot dog music, but... I doubt there's better hot dog music in box two. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh All right. As we're making our way out of Galaxy's Edge, I wanted to point out something here. They've started putting these little markers around, and these markers notate areas that you will have to search for when you're playing the Batu okay. Bounty Hunters game, which is an augmented reality game using the Magic Band Plus. But as you're walking through Batu, be on the lookout for some of these symbols to help you with the game. Oh. Benjamin, he's out and about. You know, I was gonna ask him if he's like used to the heat, but like he probably loves the heat just as much as his grandfather does, right? And like I've said before, but two bounty hunters starting point, I think is right here. There's like a little TV back here, like a little check-in spot right there. And I think that's where you would start the game. And you can see there's that symbol again on the Magic Band touch point. Oh, there's Ray and Chewie and Vi. Everybody's walking through. As we are passing by the Adventure Outpost, Indiana Jones Adventure Outpost, this used to be where the Jedi Training Academy would meet before going on to perform the Jedi Training Academy. We have no confirmation that the Jedi Training Academy is not coming back, but we do know that they did remove it from the Walt Disney World website. So that's kind of pointing in the direction of it not coming back. All right, so that was it. That was our National Hot Dog Day with James, who owns the Instagram account, Hot Dogs at Disney. 
Uh, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of good hot dogs. I feel like we made even better memories. I feel like we built on the momentum from last year. You yeah. Know, we, we got our sea legs or, our, you know, salty dog legs. Salty hot dog legs. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. And salty hot dog legs. It was wonderful. It was, uh, yes, yeah, highs and lows, but mainly highs. And, yeah. Uh, Surprisingly good hot dogs. Like I was very surprised by a lot of them. Once I wasn't expecting, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect the boardwalk to come through like it did. And right. It came through. Yeah. You know, it's not a dining destination you think for like quick serve stuff, but no, it landed. It was, yeah. It was really good. And just so you guys know, the plan was originally Epcot, and then we changed it last minute. We came over to Hollywood Studios, and I think that was a good change because mm -hmm. there was a lot of good hot dogs over here. Yeah. So. All in all, a fantastic day. Be sure to check out Hot Dogs at Disney on Instagram. We'll put a link in the description down below. We'll also put a link to last year's video in the description down below. Uh, it was a good time. Thanks for hanging out, James. Thanks for having me. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Megan from Atlanta, and now it's time to pay the price.